The new professional development system makes it easy for instructional leaders to fulfill some of their obligations for the teaching assignments they've undertaken. In this brief tutorial, you will learn how to confirm the class attendance once the withdrawal deadline is passed, typically just following the third class of the session. From the Professional Development landing page, select the User Sign-In button to log into your account. Log into your account using the same username and password that you currently use to access your class lists. If you don't remember your login information, the new system allows you to retrieve both your username and your password. If you are a new user, the office will set up your instructor profile for you. On the instructor homepage, you will view a record of your current teaching assignment and or recent courses you have taught at the faculty. Locate your current teaching assignment listed under the course history heading. To view course details, select the course code link for the course. In the actions list, select confirm attendance list to confirm the attendance of candidates on the class list once the withdrawal deadline is passed to ensure that all attendees have properly registered and to report discrepancies. On the Confirm Attendance page, you can indicate any registrants that appear on the class list but have not attended class, and provide the names of individuals who have attended class but do not appear on the class list. Please request any individual not on the official class list to contact the office immediately for assistance or for clarification of their registration status. Use the Other Attendees Notes field to report any registrant who has not attended class or any individual who is attending but is not on the official class list. Verify the information is correct by entering your name and date. Click on the Verify Attendance button to submit the information. Please note, you are not able to make any further changes to this page once you have submitted it. The class list may continue to change and be updated during the session as the registration status of applicants and registrants changes. If individuals are granted late admission or registrants are granted withdrawals beyond the withdrawal deadline date, those changes will be reflected on the class list in the system. On the Course Details page, the Actions section reflects the date you confirmed the class attendance list for the course.